Hi, this is Farstarter and this is a review of the Play Art Sky The Man of Steel number one Superman. And this is the box. Uh, we can see the figure here. It's different from the actual figure. And then we have the movie logo here with the Play Art Sky. And then some poses here. And another logo down here. And then uh, the Square Enix logo at the bottom. And on the top, uh, the warning labels and the Man of Steel movie logo. And then, uh, just like the latest edition of Play Art Sky, uh, this flap opens to show you uh, about the figure or the character and some poses here. And then you can see the figure right down here. And then let's open the box and let's take a look on the Play Art Sky Man of Steel Superman. The Play Art Sky version of Superman takes form from its 2013 movie, Man of Steel. Rather than taking just a rendition of the old spandex suit, the figure gives a more streamlined and modern look. Just like the movie, additional Kryptonian accents are visible from the shoulders, bracelets that flows beautifully from top to bottom. Sadly, the figure just comes with two open hands, but the scarcity is replaced with the Play Art Sky stage. I like the fact that Square Enix used a peg on the ball joint engineering just like other Play Art Sky figures, that gives a more stable movement together with the ratchet joints. Now let's check out the articulation points of a Superman and we have a head and slightly has a neck joint here. Here. So that's cool. And then we have a uh, shoulder cuts here. It goes in and out and the hand can rotate 360. Upper bicep cut here and then single jointed ratchety elbow so as on the wrists and then we have an upper torso joint and it has also a waist joint but quite limited because on how uh, this is molded in and this is on the way of the articulation and then we have uh, swivel points on the legs ratchety too and then knee joints here double knee joints and then we have a ratchet toe joint and then we have a cut here on the um, toe or for near the ankle and uh, it is it really doesn't look like the actor on the Superman or Man of Steel movie but if you're looking for something that's accurate you might want to get Hot Toys but if you are looking for something on this scale uh, this is a good figure it's just that uh, it doesn't really look like uh, the actor and there are some weird brown paint applications on the hair I don't know why uh, it could have been like uh, pure black on on that on that area and then we have some um, joints here on the cape there are two joints here and because of the weight of the cape uh, you really do need the stand when you try to move the the cape up and uh, pose it together with the figure other than that I really like how the paint applications are done here and the um, how the uh, costume really feels it really feels rough and quite close to the uh, movie and then we have some Krypton uh, accents here just like on the movie and this is on the soft plastic so it doesn't really hinder that much but uh, it does give a lot of toll when it, when it comes to waist articulation and that is all you need to know about Superman if you are looking for an accurate figure, better add more and grab a Hot Toys edition. But for the scale, the Man of Steel figure from Square Enix is quite palatable despite having three accessories. Again, if you don't want this edition, Square Enix is cooking up with a new 52 DC edition that might be up to your discriminating taste. And that is my review of the Play Art Sky Man of Steel Superman. If you want to know the possibilities and details for the figure, check out the photos at the end of the video and subscribe to my blog for the full written review. This is Far Starter. Thank you very much for watching and keep it here for more toy reviews.